Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the four variable functions f1, f2, f3 and the f4. And as you can see, they are represented in the sum of product form. So as you can see, these four functions are passed through some logic circuit and the output of this logic circuit is equal to y. So here, we have been asked to find the expression for this output y. So let us find that. So here, these are the four given functions and these four functions are applied to the given logic circuit. So here, let's say the output of the first AND gate is equal to x while the output of this OR gate is equal to z and these two outputs are then given to the XOR gate. That means here, if we see the output x, then that is equal to f1 dot f2. And as you know, in the AND operation, we will get the output 1 whenever both inputs are 1. So here, this output x will contain those terms which are common in both functions f1 and the f2. So as you can see, in this function f1 and f2, these common mean terms are 3, 5 and 7 as well as this 11 and the 13. That means here, this output x contains the following mean terms. Similarly, if we see the output z, then that is equal to f3 plus f4. And as you know, the output of the OR gate is 1 when any one of the input is 1. That means here, this output z will contain all the mean terms which are present in the function f3 and the f4. That means here, it will contain the mean term 0, 1, 2, 4, 6 as well as 11 and the 13. So in this way, we got the outputs x as well as the z. And these two outputs are then given to the XOR gate. That means here, this output y is equal to x, x or z. So as you know, in the XOR function or in the XOR gate, the output is equal to 1 whenever both the inputs are different. And for the same input, the output is equal to 0. So similarly, when these functions x and z are applied to this XOR gate, then the output of the XOR gate will be 0 for those mean terms which is common in the both functions. That means here, the output y will be 0 for this mean term m11 and the m13. That means here, the output y will contain all the mean terms except 11 and the 13. And therefore, if we see the output function of the y, then it will contain following mean terms. That is mean term 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the 7. So here, this is the representation of the function in the SOP form. And similarly, in the POS form or in the product of sum form, it will contain the following max terms. That is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and the 15. So this is how the output y can be represented. And from this we can say that for the given question, the answer C and D are the correct options.